recording on my own end here. Let's see, and Bugs Bunny, as I just stated in the previous thing, is that uh, Panzer and Jaeger were, dis were banned, but instead he went for Panzer Jaeger. I guess it's not banned, yes. So he could just combine the two. That works. Looks like Valhalla is going straight for the rifle command, so you might get some fun to Vicky out quickly. We've got some conscripts coming out first of all, no commander choice yet. And we also see that Box Bunny is going straight for SS Grenadiers, rather than Sturm Grenadiers. So I suppose he wants a lot, a lot more men on the field to start with. To help him get some territory, I imagine. Yeah. I mean, the double conscript opening is pretty standard to just secure territory. Oh yeah, Soviets really have the advantage in getting territory early thanks to that. And of course, to get more control, the Panther Jäger player goes for the Grenadier. Need an Ambul. That will indeed good. help. That will indeed help because the Grenadiers will somewhat help getting a few more men out than if you just went straight for Sturm Grenadiers. Problem is, these people, they will not last as long in the open fight against more specialized Soviet troops like the Fontoviki. And we already see, now Fontoviki is being assembled. Yep. That's what I call, yeah, very standard Soviet pudding. Yeah, two conscripts into uh, Fontoviki sounds like very alright. We also have a Kubelwagen 34 coming up for Bugs Bunny. A pretty good mobile weapons platform. They help a lot with suppression early on. The 42 it's more suppressive than killing anything. The MG42 Kubel is really killing. Oh yeah, because it fires a lot more bullets. Indeed. Well, Kranskops oh. have already engaged the first SS Grenadiers, and now, obviously, Valhalla will know what commander his enemy has gone. So he will know that there's gonna be uh, Panzerjäger things on the field. Right, he's... His engineer is getting overwhelmed. The Soviet engineer, a Kubel wagon and two units on him. Yeah, and the Sabres are not really equipped for combat like most other engineers. Oh, but the conscripts are trying to surprise the Kubel by getting in by behind. Yeah, but I think he heard them. And he also saw them, I believe. Oh, and now the flag defenses can hit them. And that's gonna force them to run away. Nasty, f nasty flags. But now the Fontoviki yeah, are taking up positions. And the Fontoviki are far more accurate than the conscripts that can actually be a threat to these two pioneers. Oh, and he's actually trying to oh, deploy yes. sandbags. That's not good, that's not good, because it'll make him easier to hit. And the Fontoviki actually have decent accuracy. MG squad awaiting orders. You also have a Maxim coming out. Maxim. Maxim and a new and another Sapper coming out to replace the last one. The Uber Commando player went for a Shungrenadier this time. Suppose it always is good to have one out, because they do provide a lot of versatility. They are very accurate. Yeah. Especially with the double STGs they can get at Vet Zero. Yes, that's a very big that's a very big adventure Jäger. playing Panzer Jäger, yeah. Normally they don't get access to that, and that's a really big deal. We also have an MG34 coming out. He wants the lock territory, I think. Seems so far Luke is having a little bit of trouble, but uh it's early game. Anything can change at this point. Maximus oh, the Maxim is targeting the Kubel wagon, but it's, it went away. And still no commander choice. will have trouble getting away because it will be easily flanked because of it. Yeah. There's also no there's there's fire. There's also still no commander choice from uh, the Soviet player. So, uh, oh, Kubel wagon starts his gunner, and I, with the Maxim on it, it might not get away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, and it's actually so close. Always oh, aggressively using the Maxim. Uh, it could but get the first boy is coming. Yep, and there's also a Grenadier on the southern flank that could move up if needed. But a Fontoviki with a DPM is coming out. Uh, the MG34 is going to be lacking cover. Oh, he might move it up to the sandbags actually. Storm Gewehrs have been equipped. Of course. Are replacing the Stronger squad. Maximus being, uh, MG34 is being suppressed. Oh, he's gonna try it's and use. The going for the MG. Yeah, he's gonna use the side bloggers here. MG is pulling back though. Molotov is going under the Storm Grenadiers instead. Oh, he cancelled it. He saw the squad pulling back and he's placing the Maxim to lock. 
Oh, the DP for Vicky is trying to keep the flank here. We also have a mortar coming out for the Soviets. So the Soviets are getting a little bit of everything, and we see a commander pick. And it is Rifle. What a surprise. Oh, that's a good news. Now that he has hit two CP, he's gonna enjoy the cheaper conscript. Yep. And he's already getting one. Rifle will definitely allow, allow him to get a lot of cheaper conscripts out, and also just his manpower income will be a little bit higher, I believe. He, I think his main advantage as Rifle here is that he will enjoy uh, more powerful artillery, like with the big mortars, 120mm mortar, and eventually the B4 in very late game. But Panzer Jäger has really no parade to any form of artillery. Mm, true. But the Panzer Jäger will allow him to have the means to stop a KV-1 if he decides to go for a KV-1 later on. Supply half-track is in action. Standing by for setting of command post. Looks like the... Trying to flank the Maxim. Looks like a lot of fighting is happening on the southern flank here today. But the Sturm... Uh, oh, he went for Marksman and Sturmgewehrs. Seems to be a very common build right now. But he is keeping conscripts nearby, so I believe if the Maxim yeah, gets low, he might just merge the conscripts in with it. That's what very useful with the conscripts. You can get a lot of cheap reinforcements like that. Oh yeah, and the Soviets are now threatening the other flank. But MT-34 is still present. Oh, we see smoke! Oh. They're using smoke to blind the... to blind the MG, but... Bugs thinks it's to attack him, so he's pulling back. Oh, the flak is still killing yeah, from here. That's terrible. Yeah, the flak can apparently still cover from that base area. We also see Bugs Bunny sitting up in his uh, home territory, which is not a bad thing considering the small map. You generally don't want to risk losing your command vehicles uh, early on. Looks like the Germans are calling a full, a full retreat at the southern flank just to get some healing, I assume. And models. Command level capabilities ready for deployment. Oh. Conscript squad barely got out there, only the officer by the looks of it. Those three STGs are really something. Oh yeah, and then the marksman rifle on top of it, that's a lot of firepower. We also see Valhalla is going immediately for vehicles. He's skipping one tier. So we might see an early T-34, but we also were seeing an early pack. So I think Bugs Bunny knows what might happen. Or what could happen, rather. Yeah, that's pretty usual. That's also how I go with rifle, usually. I just keep out here to... Oh, the Conscript's gonna charge! To get a very fast tank. The Storm Gear has definitely showed themselves, but the ma aggressive Maxim is already proving its worth there. Aggressive Maxim supporting the conscripts is not a bad idea, apparently. This is it. But Han is also keeping constant eyes on the Germans by using flares. That's a key an idea of what his enemy is doing, and you generally want to keep a good recon on your enemy, so you know exactly yeah. their movements. Information is key in all battles. Indeed. And we are actually seeing a mortar coming out for the Germans. I think it's just trying to counter barrage the actual mortar of the Soviets. Very likely. We so far only seeing one from Taviki. So I get a feeling that Valhalla is going to be lying mostly on conscripts and the commissar he just called in. The commissar. The commissar will have to all buff the conscripts. Oh, but Ooh. high explosive on the pack that, almost killed them. That was close for the Commissar. Oh, he's launching on no strike. But immediately retreating. And the Storm Grandiers probably have to get ready to move out again shortly. Ah, there's, there's a side blocker here in front of the MG34. He should probably uh, demolish that. He has the means to with the destroy cover ability of the Storm Pioneers. The SS player is going for the tech up. Yeah, very risky move, but I suppose it is necessary. He doesn't know what uh, Valhalla is aiming for. Valhalla is going for, for radio mass production. 
Okay, so he's actually upgrading that before getting T-34s. I guess he wants to get two T-34s and have them coordinate? Yes, but... I have... I think that it's a report bug that the radio mass... The, the mass radios for the T-34 doesn't actually buff the tanks. Ah, yeah, that's that sounds like an issue. We also see Kampfkraft Center going up for the Germans. Ooh, maybe maybe it's gonna use the infantry Kampfkraft Center to try to get more grenades with STGs. That could be a thing because I believe they need to be veteran C two. Yeah, they need to be veteran C two. Yeah. If I can get the storm giver. And the also... uh, one of the only ways to really counter efficiently the conscripts is to actually get a lot of automatic weapons to just kill them before they get close, oh, yeah, with I'm... or without vodka. That does make sense. Pontaviki's moving forward here. But DPM is able to suppress the uh, Storm Grenadiers. Storm Grenadiers are going for uh, for frag grenade. Oh, and it killed the Pontaviki! But the DPM is left, and it looks like the Sappers are gonna go and grab it. Oh, but the Grenadier is marked as a target, and there is a lot going on him. Yeah, Conscripts are moving up alongside the Commissar. The Commissar will definitely improve their combat effectiveness. Oh, what is this mode doing? Oh, I have no idea, but the MT-34 is setting up. And the, co the Commissar is ensuring they, that the conscripts don't just get suppressed. Well, immediately anyway. So it's going to be very difficult to get them pinned down. More Molotov coming out. Oh, the conscript is staying there. Wow, that's a... Uh... That's cheeky. Yeah, but he's still got two models left. No upgrade yet in the Kampkov center. Oh, we're seeing both... Uh, a second uh, tier up for the Germans. I guess they're going full out. full out. And indeed, we're seeing double T-34s being prepared. What, what, they can, what the Germans can do here is use the Stug F8 to get Togol HE. Might be very lethal to any infantry. Very true, but I also think he should think about the potential T-34 push. His Grenadiers, I do believe, have the ability to lay mines. Because uh, he's playing as Panzerjäger. And here comes the first T-34 revealing itself. I suppose a big loader. Oh, killing them! And the second, second T-34 is already being prepared. Packed and not penetrate. I think Bugs Bunny should have used his uh, neutral capture speed, neutral bone capture speed buff to ensure the uh, the fuel will be his. Probably, the but... Uh, could have. But now I think the, yeah, the pack is in trouble. Oh. Did that with the DP? Back when they did go in. Oh, here. killing them, but also the Storm Grenadiers went down. That's some heavy losses. Yep, and it looks like the SS is lacking in infantry at the moment. That's not a good thing. Oh, but it still made a dent to the uh, infantry of the Soviets. I think the Soviet weapons teams have to pull back. You mean German ones? Yeah, German ones, my bad. <laughs> T-54 flanking oh. too. He's hiding his MG. Oh, pack has been decreed. And Box Bunny surrenders in 15 minutes.